This year's Saturday Showcase presented by Five Hour Energy. And certainly, energy is the word for Morgantown, West Virginia, and WVU Coliseum for this Big 12 tilt between the Longhorns and the Mountaineers. You had multiple guys surrounding each other in that corner. And they're a nice screen. He's a lot finding himself the open jump shot. Yeah, finally, that confetti, which was getting wet with palm sweat, <laughs> is finally released. That's the second good looking out of bounds play they've run. The first one was missed. And that is a wide three open three shot. for Kerwin Roach, who is a 35% three point shooter. And that was fortunately saved just in time before a real disaster could have happened. There's a three for Kerwin three Roach. Coleman into the front court. Long. Oh, there you go. Mitchell Long ends the slump three point shot with a three-pointer. Just an outstanding push by Matt Coleman. Harler. And that ends a streak of seven straight missed shots by West Virginia. Harler with a three-pointer. Coleman for understanding that scouting report. He knew that back screen was coming. The lob was going to be there. And talking about lobs, Jericho Sims going upstairs. Mitru Long is back in, and he'll get an assist on that one as Courtney Ramey buries the three-pointer. Just uh, the small of the Big 12 action, this battle right here. Haley for three. Look at that. Jermaine, Jermaine Haley is only a 17% three-point shooter. Texas just lose track of him right there in that 2-3 zone. Texas is six of their last eight, and Ahmad got it to go, and it's a one-point game. The only one without two is Osikowski, who's on the floor right now. Pull up from three. Man, Courtney Ramey one more time from three. He's got 11. Not two very quick fouls. He has the ball now. It's almost like he never played. And he gets a beautiful pass and a hard finish by Roach. Coleman dunk. There it is. They were going to get one eventually. Main Haley and Issa Ahmad just kind of looking at each other on the back side. And Culver, another beautiful pass. He subs awaiting their opportunity for Bob Huggins and the Mountaineers. Culver, big positive move. Culver. Wow. A little bit. Too easy. Jericho Sims, unmarked. Has been a disaster, and they're about to have a shot clock. They lose the ball outright. Here comes. Oh, oh, oh. Jackson Hayes been on the floor. And he has been so effective tonight. Courtney Ramey at the guard position. Speak of the devil. Well, they're just playing now. <laughs> He's still incre incredibly light. Look out. Place, but, I mean, you just. You How many in a row is that? It's like oh, three alley dunks in a row for Texas. That season, unlike almost any other that we've seen. Just. Incredible athlete, R.J. Barrett scoring the ball there. at such a high level. Throughout the last couple games, and more so in the Texas Tech game, but again right there, you're just trying to hit the guy in the middle, and that's eight. Goodness. That's good <laughs> you know, Nevin's picked up a bucket, so he's going to end up with three here. Final seconds of this one in a tough night for West Virginia, but for Texas, three, give them the credit. Two. A dunk fest in the second half, and a victory on the road. And not a close game for Texas. They get one they can breathe a little bit easier. A shot smart picks up. Career win number 227. We'll be back to wrap things up. Longhorns won this one comfortably. 75 to 53 to approve to 14 and 10 overall. 6 and 5 as we.